My name is Angel Sadath. I am a media production student um, at VCU. I've been diagnosed for about 10 years, uh, 10, 11 years, so it's not new. It's not like a new, new life change or anything like that, but it's definitely a hindrance. I have had to adjust my life around ADHD significantly. I do think that people well, not all people, but I do think that there is a general misunderstanding of what ADHD is. ADHD is like a mental disorder, not a mental crisis. And it's something that I have to deal with um, good times and bad times. So during college, I've had to completely change how I approach school, how I approach my own personal relationships um, and stuff of that type because not only as I grow and change, do my preferences and things grow and change, but how ADHD affects me as I get older changes. And the symptoms are not the same for everyone, so it can be hard to feel a sense of like community in life. I don't necessarily think that it's ignored. I don't think that we learn about mental health correctly. I don't think that people know what a disorder is. Um, and that's, I'm not blaming anyone. Like, I'm not saying, oh, the students are dumb. Like, I don't think that's true. I think that mental health, I, I think it's the truth. Like, I think that mental health is like such a slippery slope and it's so complex and it affects everyone differently. I mean, yes, there are signs of how people get diagnosed, but from person to person, it can always look so different and feel so different. And I, I just think that we don't learn about that enough. We don't know about that. And like a lot of professors don't know about that and a lot of students. So when you say, oh man, like I'm feeling, I'm feeling burnt out right now. Like I'm feeling burnt out and we're only on week four. They think that maybe, they think that maybe you're like pulling their leg. They think that maybe you're just being lazy. When in reality, you know, some students who are neurodivergent get burnt out quicker and easier. Um, I think that my experiences here will definitely shape my late 20s you know i can't i can't speak for the rest of my life because i feel like so many things happen in a year i don't even know where i'll be in 10 years but i think leaving the school i'll definitely have a more confident approach to my work i don't want or need to be scared that i'm not going to fulfill an assignment that i'm not going to fulfill my duty to a company to myself because I think that even though I've had mental health issues, I've proven to myself and to a lot of people around me that I am just as productive and dedicated and willing to do anything that someone who is neurotypical wants to do, can do, and will do.